Doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Niners are going to get the football here at their own 40 yard line. Partner, when you're playing cover two, this is like a tag team for the safeties. Each of them gets a half field responsibility. Their job is to stay as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, read the football, and go make a play. In this case, the free safety made the best play an interception. And Lance now to throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. On the move past the 40. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. First down, here's Mitchell. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And they run the option on second down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They run over center with Mitchell. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. On play action, Lance. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now try and pick it up with Mitchell. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. and company going on fourth down. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And the Niners are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try to keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. On second and goal, Lance. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Niners have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And it's now 14 to nothing. Niners, 14. Vikings, nothing. Bobby Gold to kick off for San Francisco. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. 
And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent sized deficit early on. It is, but I think. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. So rare to see any quarterback toss back to back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Debo Samuel, 32 yards. And the 49ers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive as they take over with exactly one minute to go. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. To throw, Cousins. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. On second and 10, Lance winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And he's got it inside the 10. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Lance on the option left. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A little do-it-yourself run right there in a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. And he's not going to push his way forward. He's going to be stopped at the two-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And a chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Lance going to sneak it. And he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? Trey Lance as the first half is winding down. And the Niners would extend their lead here just before halftime. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it is 28-0. Robbie Gold to kick off for San Francisco. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, we'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. 
The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 17 yards, first down, Vikings. They go play action. Cousins goes right back to Smith again. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they say to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Off the play fake, Cousins. He's got Smith here. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll bring up second down. One yard game brings up second and nine at the 41 yard line. Cousins. Out route to Jefferson, and he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Cousins in step with Jefferson that time. First down, Vikings. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Another one on this play for Justin Jefferson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the 49ers are going to take over once again at their own 25 yard line. Well, I think everyone who's watching was certainly hoping to see things get a little bit better for them in this half, weren't we? But it was a downright miserable first half that's carried over with an interception to begin the second half. That's a defeated offense right there, and there's still a lot of game left. I don't think that's the last turnover we're going to see today, partner. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. It's a gain of 17 yards. First down, 49ers. Lance now on first down. This one caught by Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Don't quit, bitch. I just served your ass, ho. Get him out of there. Yeah. He got up out of there, coach. Getting the fuck out of there. Black superhero. 